Hi everyone, it's Darla from Crafty Yarn Owl. This cardigan is a raglan style, so we're going to be starting at the neck where the where the neckline is, and as we work it, it grows wider and longer at the same time. I show you in the video where to try it on to size adjust it to yourself. I hope you like this tutorial and will subscribe, comment, share. And the information on the yarn and hook sizes I used is in the description box below. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is make a chain of 85. There are no multiples. And then we're going to put a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And we're going to put a single crochet in every chain all the way to the very end. Now, if you want to jump ahead, you can go ahead and make three more rows of single crochets after this one for a total of four. Now I'm at the end of that first row of single crochets and I have 84 single crochets. Chain one in turn, and then we're going to go into that very first stitch with a single crochet. So we'll be putting a single crochet in every stitch all the way along this row right to the very end. And then we'll make two more rows of single crochets for a total of four rows. All right, I've completed the four single crochet rows. Now on to row five. We're going to chain one and turn. And then we're going to put a double crochet in that very first stitch. And we're going to put a double crochet into every stitch all the way across the row right to the very end. Okay, now I've completed row five, which is the double crochet row. So we're going to go into row six. Um, row six and seven are the repeat rows. They're very easy. Okay, first thing we're going to do is chain one and turn our work. Now on that very first stitch, we're going to put a double crochet. And then we're going to put a double crochet into each of the next two stitches as well for a total of three double crochets. Now we're going to skip the next stitch, go into the one after with a double crochet. We're going to go back into the one that we skipped with a double crochet. Okay, so we've made an X. We're going to skip the next stitch, which is right here. This one we worked into with our X. So our next stitch is here. So we're going to skip that one, go in the next one with a double crochet, go into the one we skipped with a double crochet. So now we've made two X's. We need a total of six. So skip the next stitch, go in the next one with a double crochet, go into the one we skipped with a double crochet. So that's the third one. Skip the next stitch, go in the one after with a double crochet, go in the one we skipped with a double crochet. So now we have three double crochets at the beginning and then we have one, two, three, four X's. We need two more. Skip the next stitch, go in the one after with a double crochet. Go in the one we skipped with a double crochet. Skip the next stitch, go in the one after with a double crochet. Go in the one we skipped with a double crochet. Okay, now we have our six X's. Now we're going to make a corner. There'll be four corners. So before a corner and after a corner, you always chain one. Okay, so chain one. Going to skip the next stitch right here. Going to go into the next one with a V stitch, which is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. All in the same stitch. Okay, I'm going to mark my corners because they look so similar to these other stitches. 
so I don't want to miss them when I come back around. Okay, so now we're coming off a corner, so we need to chain one. And then because we chained one, we need to skip the next stitch and then skip the next one, go in the next one with a double crochet. Go into this one we skipped just before we made this double crochet and make a double crochet. Skip the next stitch, go in the next one with a double crochet. We're just making our X's again and we'll be again making a total of six X's. Okay, skip the next stitch, go in the next one with a double crochet. Go in the one we skipped with a double crochet. Okay, so keep doing that until you have six X's like you had over here. Okay, I've completed my second set of six uh, X's. So now we're going to go into a corner. So we need to chain one. We're going to skip a stitch. Going to go into the next one with a V stitch. So again, that's a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet in that same spot. Okay, I'm going to mark that corner. Now we're coming off a corner, so we'll chain one, skip a stitch, and then we need to make our X. So we need to skip another stitch, go in that third one, with a double crochet. Go back into the one we skipped just before we made that double crochet and put a double crochet in there. Okay, skip the next one, go in the one after with a double crochet. Go in the one we skipped with a double crochet. Now this time we're not going to be making six uh, X's we're going to be making nine okay so skip the next one go in the one after with a double crochet go in the one we skipped with a double crochet so so far that is three X's and we need a total of nine so I'm going to make another six X's off camera you go ahead and do that for a total of nine all right I've completed nine X's so what we have here is three double crochets in the very beginning three stitches then we have six X's a corner six X's a corner and then nine X's so let's make another corner we're going into a corner so we're going to chain one going to skip a stitch, go in the next stitch with a V stitch, which is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. In the same stitch. So now I'm going to mark that one. Mark that corner. We're coming off a corner, so we'll chain one. We'll skip a stitch. We need to make our X over the next two stitches, so we'll skip a stitch, another one. So it's skipping two. Okay, skip those two, make a double crochet in the next stitch. Make a double crochet in the one right before the double crochet we just made. Make a double crochet in there. Skip the next stitch, go in the next one with a double crochet. Go in the one we skipped with a double crochet. So here we're going to be making six X's. And I will see you after that. All right, I have those six X's made. So now we have six X's, six X's, nine X's, and then six X's, okay? 
So now we're going into a corner, so we'll chain one and we'll skip the next stitch, go into the one after it with a V stitch. I'm going to mark that V stitch. Now we're coming off that corner, so we'll chain one. Skip a stitch, skip the next one, go in the next one with a double crochet. Go into the one we skipped just before we made this double crochet and put a double crochet in there. Skip the next stitch, go in the next one with a double crochet, go into the one we skipped with a double crochet. So we're making our X's again and we're going to make six X's. So we have six, six, nine, six, six. Okay, so we have our six X's. And we have, we should have three stitches left. Yes, we do. So in those three stitches, you're going to put one double crochet in each of them. That's what, how we started this row was making a double crochet into each of those first three stitches and then we'll make a double crochet into each of the three last stitches. Okay, then we'll chain one and turn. Okay, so that was the first row of our two row repeat. Okay. Now in these first three double crochet stitches, we're going to make a double crochet into each one. Okay, now we have these X's. What we're going to do is just put a double crochet into each stitch all along. And then we're going to build up our corners when we get to them. Okay, first stitch, we make a double crochet. The first stitch of our X's is what I'm saying. Go into the next one with a double crochet. Go into your next stitch with a double crochet. Okay, keep doing that until you have made a double crochet in every stitch and stopped in your last X. Okay, I have this last X, so I'll put double crochet in the first stitch of it, double crochet in the second stitch of it, and now we're going to a corner, so we need to chain one, and now in this corner, Every time you see a V-stitch, you're going to put a V-stitch. First one here, we're going to put a V-stitch, chain two, and a V-stitch. Okay? So, make your V-stitch. Now we're going to chain two. And then put another V-stitch in that same spot. So what we've done is chain one to go to our corner. We put a V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch all in this one V-stitch. Okay, now we're going to chain one because we're coming off a corner or a V-stitch. So now we're going to go over to this first X and we're going to put a sing, uh, sorry, a double crochet into the first stitch of it, the second stitch of it, and every stitch all the way till we get to just before our next corner. Alright, so put double crochets all across. Now we're coming to a corner, so we're going to chain one. And then we're going to put a V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch into that V-stitch. one v-stitch and then chain two and then our other v-stitch okay 
Okay, V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch, all in that V-stitch. All right, we're coming off a corner, so we'll chain one. Our next stitch is our X, so put a double crochet in the first stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, and every stitch until we get to our next corner. All right, I've put a double crochet into every stitch. We're coming up to our corner. What do we do? We chain one. <laughs> And then we're going to go into our V-stitch corner with a V-stitch, chain two, and a V-stitch. Okay, so that's one V-stitch. And we'll chain two. And then we'll put another V-stitch in that same V-stitch. Okay, so V-stitch, chain two, V-stitch in that V-stitch. Coming off a corner, what do we do? We chain one. Here's our next stitch, which is our, v, our uh, X. Go in the first stitch with a double crochet. Put a double crochet in every stitch until you get to your next V-stitch corner. Okay, so we're coming up to a V-stitch corner, so we'll chain one. We'll go into that V-stitch and put a V-stitch, a chain two, and a V-stitch, just like we've been doing. Okay, and then we'll chain one, because we're coming off a corner. And then put a double crochet into each of the stitches. Okay, and then we have those last three double crochets. Put a double crochet into each one. Okay, so that's the second row of the two row repeat. Now we're going to repeat this uh, X row. So we'll chain one and we'll turn. Now we have, at the beginning we have these three double crochets here. We're always going to put a double crochet into each of these first three at the beginning of the row and at the end of the row. Okay, before we do our X's. Okay, so it's one double crochet, in the next one make a double crochet, and in that third one make a double crochet. Okay, now we're going to do our X's. Skip a stitch, go in the next one, <clears throat> excuse me, with a double crochet, and then go into the one we skipped with a double crochet. Okay, skip the next stitch over here, go in the next one with a double crochet, go in the one we skipped with a double crochet, skip the next one, go in the next one with a double crochet, go in the one we skipped with a double crochet. Okay, keep doing that. You'll have a total of six and then another set of six, and then a set of nine, and then another six, and then another six, just like we did um, in this row that we're repeating right now. So I will see you at the first corner. Now I have my three double crochets at the very beginning, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six X's. Now we're coming on to a corner, so we're gonna chain one, And now we have this first V-stitch. We want to put a V-stitch in there. And then we have this chain two. So we want to put two V-stitches in there separated by a chain two. So that's one V-stitch, a chain two, and another V-stitch in that chain two space. Okay, 
Okay, and then we have another V-stitch here, so we'll put a V-stitch in there. Okay, now we're coming off the corner, so we need to chain one. Before and after the corner, we always chain one. Now we're going to make our X's again. So we need six like we just did. All right, so this, this is part of the V-stitch, so don't go in there. Go over here, you skip one, you go into the next with a double crochet. Go back in the one we skipped with a double crochet. Skip the next one, go in the one after with a double crochet. Go in the one we skipped with a double crochet. Skip the next one, go in the one after with a double crochet. Go in the one we skipped with a double crochet. So continue doing that, making your six X's like we did over here. And then when you get to, when you've done your six X's and you get to your corner, make sure to chain one. Put a V-stitch in the first V-stitch, in that chain 2 space, put a V-stitch, chain 2, V-stitch, in the next V-stitch, put a V-stitch. So every time you see a V-stitch, you're going to put a V-stitch. Except in the chain 2, you'll put two V-stitches separated by chain 2. All right, then you, when you come off your corner, you'll put a, um, a chain 1, and then you'll make your X's. Okay, let me see. You chain one and then you skip one and make your double crochet. Go back in the skipped one with your double crochet to make your X's and you'll need nine X's. And then you do the same thing with this corner and then you have six X's. Do the same thing with that corner and then you make six X's and then one double crochet in each of the last three stitches. Okay, I will see you at the end of this row. All right, I've completed the X row. And then I, we're going to go into the double crochet row, which is the second row of the two row repeat. Just get you started on this. So we're going to put a double crochet into every stitch all the way along. And then put V's into our V's. But just remember to chain one before we get, before we start the V's and chain one after. Okay. So just take you to that first uh, V stitch, that first corner. Oops. Okay, just double crochets all the way to the V, to the corner. We've done the double crochets and now we're at our corner, so always chain one. And then put a V wherever you see a V. Next V, put a V. Now we're into our chain two space. Put a V stitch. A chain two. And a V stitch in the same spot. Okay, then we have another V-stitch, put a V-stitch in there. We have another V-stitch, put a V-stitch in there. Okay, we're coming off the corner, so we'll chain one. And then put double crochets in all your, your stitches along here till you get to your corner again and then do the same thing we just did okay so I'm going to make a few more rows I'll come back and show you where to try it on and then I'll show you how to make it to to fit your size and then we'll be working on the bottom of it making the bottom of it longer so keep repeating the X row and the double crochet row 
And then the last row you'll be working on is the double crochet row before we try it on. All right, I have made 15 rows. Now I'm about large, but I'm going to show you how to fit it to you if you're smaller or uh, larger. So now we're going to fold this. We are going to fold it so that our chain twos meet and they'll be meeting under our arms. All right, so this is the front of the sweater, that's our shoulder. Fold the other one the same way. Okay, like that. We're on the front of our work when we finish on that double crochet row. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a stitch marker. I'm gonna go through that chain two, or into that chain two, and then I'm gonna go into chain two on the opposite side. That will be under our arm. Okay, do the same on the other side. Okay, and our yarn is attached at the bottom here. Okay, so now I'm going to try it on and I'm going to just show you what to do if you need it bigger or smaller. Okay, this is what we have right now. Now that seems very small, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so you just try it on. Okay, we just put it on like a sweater, like a cardigan. I have to get tangled up in the yarn that's attached. All right, so we go like that. Now, if you can't get it on, you're going to need to make a couple more rows or whatever to get it onto you. But there it is, pinned under my arms. Pull this back down a little bit. Get everything in position. Okay. When we start working on the rest of it, this will pull down from the weight and stuff. All right. So I'm thinking I want mine to be fitted, pretty fitted. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. But uh, you want to make sure, of course, that your um, cardigan is going to fit the rest of your body. I mean, if you're bigger down here than you are up here, take that into account. You want to take into account the biggest part of your body. I usually go by the girls. <laughs> but I know that when I work, work, start working, uh, going back and forth with my rows to make the body part, this is going to fit me. It's, it may be snug. I don't know. You, you already saw it. I mean, completed. So <laughs> at this point, I have not seen it completed <laughs> because I'm still working on it, of course. But yeah, so I'm, I'm going to stop there. So if you need it, you know, if it's not going to fit around you like this, you're going to need two, three more rows, whatever. I don't know how many rows you'll need, but you'll know. You'll know. Um, if it's too big, then of course you'll just take out a couple of rows. Okay, so now I'm going to start doing the rest of the body. So let's do that. So now we're just going to continue crocheting. I'm just going to chain one. This is the opening of our sweater. Chain one, and then I'm going to continue on with our patterns to make the length. So in that first stitch, make a double crochet. And in the next two, a double crochet. Okay, so we're just going to be repeating our rows of X's and double crochets here. So. We have double crochets, so we're going to skip one and put a double, a double crochet in the next stitch and then go back into the one we skipped with a double crochet. So we have our X. Okay, skip the next one, go in the one after, and make your X. Go back in the one we skipped there. All right, there's our X. Um, continue on doing your pattern and I'll meet you at our stitch marker that's under our arm. So actually when we get to what was our corner, our V stitches, make sure you chain that one. Okay? And then put your V stitches in your V stitches. 
and then when you come off your v-stitches you're going to chain one just like before okay so I'll meet you at this stitch marker all right now I put my last V into my last V <laughs> and now what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet into that chain two space just put a double crochet in there and then we're going to chain one. Oh, did you see that and then put a double crochet into our next chain two space so what we're doing is putting a V stitch across those two stitches. Just a double crochet into our chain two, chain one, and then double crochet into the next chain two. Okay, then we go on to the next V stitch and put a V stitch. Okay, we'll do that on the other side as well, of course the other uh, where your other stitch marker is so just keep putting your v-stitches and your v-stitches and then when you get to your the end of your v-stitches oops right here make sure you chain that one and then do your X's okay so I'll see you at the end of this row all right now I'm almost at the end of my X row so those last three stitches we just put a double crochet in each one just like we've been doing all along okay so one double crochet in those last three and then we'll chain one and then we'll do our repeat so first three stitches put double crochets in one in each one Oops. Okay, always start your rows with your double three double crochets at the beginning and at the end. And now this just happens to be a double crochet row, so we'll go in the next stitch and we'll put our double crochets in each stitch just like before. We're just repeating our pattern. And I'll meet you right under your arm here. <laughs> okay, I put my last V stitch in the V stitch before our little connection here. So we're just going to go right around that chain one space with a V stitch. So just make your double crochet around that chain one, and then chain one, and then make another double crochet around that chain one. So I'll continue on making your V's and your V's and doing your, your rows and keep them up until you have the length or close to the length of your cardigan that you want. And now look, it looks, we have a gap there, Darla. Yes, we do. All right, so this um, armhole here, it will get sewn up a little bit. All right. No worries. We do this same thing under your other arm and then just keep making your rows back and forth. I've done a total of 38 rows for the length of my sweater and now we're going to do a border. So I'm going to chain one and turn. So the first row of the border is going to be single crochets in every stitch, including the chain ones. You'll put single crochets in those as well. I'm going to go all the way around the entire sweater with single crochets. Okay, I've come up to that first chain one before we get to our V's. So I just go around it and put a single crochet. And then a single crochet and the double crochet of our, our V. And then we have a chain one in the middle. So we put a single crochet in there. Chain a uh, single crochet in the next double crochet of our V. Single crochet in the first double crochet of our V. Single crochet in the chain one of our V. Single crochet in the second double crochet of our V. V and so on. Okay, I have finished the first straight away. 
Now we're gonna go down the sides. We'll go all the way around the whole sweater. All right, so I put a single crochet in that last stitch, and then I'm gonna put um, another single crochet in that same stitch. Okay, now I'm gonna put two single crochets around this double crochet at the end, or the edge of our um, next row. So two single crochets right around that double crochet. And because all these rows, uh, all these rows are double crochet, so I'm just gonna go right around the end double crochet with two single crochets. Now I'm up to the edge of those four single crochet rows, so I'll put one single crochet at the end of each of those. And then I'm going to put another single crochet in that last one I just put a single crochet into. So now I have two in there. I'm going to turn to the side. Then I'm going to put single crochets all across this row but not into our starting chain there. I'm going to go down to the row under where the single crochets are and put single crochets in those stitches. Just one in each stitch. It'll kind of hide the chain and uh, make a nicer edge. Go right to the end of this row with single crochets in every stitch. Okay, I have one more stitch and I'm gonna go into it with a single crochet and then I'm gonna put one more single crochet. You may have noticed I've been putting two single crochets in the corners. All right, so now we have, these are our single crochet rows, so we just need one single crochet at the end of each of those, or the edge of each. Okay, now we're at the edge of the double crochet row, so we put two single crochets around those double crochets, just like we did on the other side. Now I'm at the end of that first single crochet row, so I'm gonna slip stitch in the first single crochet we made, pull it through chain one, and then I'm going to do another row of single crochet. So we're going to uh, start off the row with two single crochets in the first stitch. So one, two. I'm going to mark that first single crochet. So it's easy to spot when we come back around. Okay, and then I'm just going to put single crochets in every stitch all the way around the whole sweater again, making uh, two in the corners. Okay, I'll see you after this round is done. I have almost completed the second row of single crochets. So I'm gonna slip stitch into the one we marked at the beginning. So slip stitch and chain one. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into that stitch with a double crochet. And then I'm gonna go into the one before that. So we're gonna cross over and do an X. So double crochet. Okay, skip the next one, go in the one after with a double crochet. Go in the one we skipped with a double crochet. So we're just gonna make X's all around. That's the plan. <laughs> all right, skip the next stitch, go in the next one with a double crochet. Go in the one we skipped with a double crochet. Okay, I'll see you at the corner. All right, I've come up to the first corner here. I did some experimenting, and uh, what seemed to work was just to chain one to get around the corner. So skip the next stitch, go in the next one with the double crochet, and go in the one that we skipped with a double crochet. Skip 
one, go the next to the double crochet, go in the one we skipped with a double crochet, and just by chaining that one, it got us around that corner. So yeah, do all the corners like that, and I'll see you at the end of this row. I have come to the end of the X row, and I did my last X here, and I'm chaining one, and then I'm going to just slip stitch into that first double crochet we made. Just like that. And now I'm going to do a, let's see, I'm going to do a row of single crochets all the way around now. And uh, let's see, we're in the corner. So in the first stitch, make a single crochet and a single crochet in every stitch. When you get to the corner, make two single crochets in in your your one stitch that's near the corner in the corner or very close to the corner and then uh, I'll see you at the end of this row now I'm at the end of that single crochet row I believe this is a uh, chain one I did so I put two single crochets in it and then slip stitch over to the X stitch Okay, and then I'll cut my yarn and then we'll go on to the next step. We are now done the border. Now I'm at the underarm where our gap is. Now I've tried it on again to see if the weight of the sweater has pulled my armhole bigger and then I would have to move the stitch marker up a little bit, but it has not done that. It hasn't really made a difference at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew this together using the mattress stitch. I'm on the outside of my work. You can do this on the outside or the inside. My experience is it doesn't show either way you do it. Now you may have a bigger gap. It depends if you've made your sweater more fitted or more loose. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread through on the opposite side here. And then I'm going to go back over here on the side that's closest to me and then I'm just going to tie a knot actually two knots and I am going to pull this uh, tail or push it to the wrong side of my work because I do want to weave it in on the wrong side okay then I'm going to go across go under those two we want to go under two loops come back on this side grab two loops Go back on the other side, grab two loops, working from the middle and the inside here. Go back on this other side, grab a couple of loops. I'm going to grab a couple of loops right where my stitch marker is as well. Go back across, grab two. I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And then I'm going to pull these stitches sideways, not down, not down like this, but sideways to tighten them up. Now we want to make sure that we have the same number of V stitches on this side as we do on this side. So in my case, I have nine. Okay, so I'm going to go back on that other side one more time. This side back in and just make a knot and pull it through to to the wrong side and then I'll sew that in later okay I cut that off now we're going to start on making the sleeve I've put some yarn on my hook and I'm going to go into the first V stitch here just hook it in there do a slip uh, stitch and then I'll chain one And then because we stopped on our double crochet row, this is the outside. So we need to turn our work our, to the other side and we're going to be turning our work every row. Okay, now I'm going to make a V-stitch into that V-stitch. Okay, 
And I'll be making a V-stitch into every V-stitch along here. And I'm still using my 5.5 millimeter hook. So keep making your V-stitches in the V-stitches. When you get to the end of your V-stitches over here, make sure you chain one and then you'll make your X's and I'll meet you there. Okay, I've made the last V-stitch there and then I'll chain one like we did throughout the whole pattern. And then we'll make our X by skipping one, going in the next with a double crochet, and then making a double crochet and back into the one we skipped. And we're just doing the same pattern. But at this point, before I forget, I want to put a stitch marker on this row because we need to have the same number of rows for our other sleeve. So it's good to keep track and we'll know exactly where we started our first row for the sleeve. Yeah, continue doing your X's. When you get to the end of your X's, make your chain one before you go back into making your V stitches right here. I'll be making a few rows with my 5.5 millimeter hook and then I'm going to try it on uh, maybe um, four or five rows and I'll try it on, see where how the sleeve fits. If it's a little too loose, I'm going to go down to a five millimeter hook. And then try it on again after that, maybe go down another hook size. That's how I usually do my sleeves. That way there's no decreases, it's just going down hook sizes. Shortly I'll be letting you know how many rows I made with what hook sizes for the short sleeves and the long sleeves. Okay, I've finished my X's, so I'm going to chain one and then go into these V stitches with V stitches. And then I'll meet you at the first V-stitch we made uh, in this row. Okay, now I've made the last V-stitch before our first one we made in this row. So what we want to do is slip stitch into the first double crochet of that V-stitch. And then we want to slip stitch into the uh, chain one of that V-stitch. Try to grab two loops. Okay, then we chain one and then we turn our work. Okay, so now we're going to put a V-stitch into that first V-stitch. Okay, then the V-stitch in the next one and all of them till we get to our X's and then chain one. I'll meet you there. All right, I'm at that last V-stitch, so I'll chain one because we're going into our X's and we need to make a double crochet into each stitch. Like we did before throughout the whole pattern. Just a double crochet in each stitch. Okay, when you've done that, of course, you're going to chain one because we're going to go into our V stitches and make V stitches. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Alright, I've made the last V stitch here and then we're just going to go over to that first V stitch we made and do the same thing we did before slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet of that V stitch and then slip stitch over to the chain one go under two loops of it come on you stinker slip stitch and then chain one and then turn your work so you're on the inside again and then make your v-stitch in your v-stitch and continue on just like we were doing alternating between the two rows okay I'll see you at the next step now what I've done for the short sleeves is I've made 10 rows so far I did five rows with a 5.5 millimeter and then I did three rows with a 5 millimeter and then I did two rows with a 4.5 millimeter and now we're up to doing the trim and I'm going to be doing the trim which is four rows and I'll be using a four millimeter for each of those rows and we do not have to turn our work every row we just work on the outside Okay, for the long sleeves, what I did was I did 10 rows at a 5.5 millimeter. I did 22 rows 
with a five millimeter. And then for the trim, I used a 4.5 millimeter. I didn't go down to the four millimeter at all. Okay, now you make your, you know, my sleeves might be longer than what you need. I don't know, it's up to you. <laughs> yeah, just try it on. That's what I've been doing, just trying, trying it on to make sure it fits and everything's all right. Okay, so now I'm going to start on the trim. And the row I stopped on before we make our trim is the double crochet row. So I'm on the outside of my work and now I'm just going to do the four rows of trim with a four millimeter. I've chained one and I'm going to put a single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet in our chain one, single crochet in the next stitch. And so we're making three single crochets out across our V-stitches. So single crochet in that first double crochet of the V-stitch, single crochet in that chain one, single crochet in the um, second double crochet of our V-stitch. Continue on when we come across those chain ones after our V-stitches. Make sure you put a single crochet and so on. I'll see you at the next row, which is just another single crochet row. Okay, I'm at the end of that first single crochet row of our uh, trim on the uh, sleeve. So I'm just going to slip, stitch, chain one, go back into that same stitch and make single crochet and do a single crochet in every stitch all the way around this row. And I'll meet you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of that single crochet row, the second one. So I'm just slip stitching the first single crochet we made, and then we're going to do some X's, chain one, make a double crochet back into that very first stitch. And then I'm going to make a double crochet into the one before that. So we're going to go back okay and make a double crochet so that's our first X and then we'll skip the next stitch go in the next one with a double crochet and go in the one we skipped with a double crochet so just make X's all the way around this row I'll meet you at the end of this row now I'm at the end of the X row you may have an extra stitch right here, just simply put a double crochet in there. Okay, and then slip stitch into the first double crochet. Chain one, go back into that stitch, make single crochet. Mark it with a stitch marker so you don't miss it on the way back around. and then make a single crochet in every stitch all the way to the end of this row and then I'll meet you there. Now I'm at the end of the single crochet row I'm just going to simply slip stitch into that first single crochet we made. And then chain one and then we'll cut our yarn and we'll sew it in. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you plan on making it maybe you could comment below and uh, Tell me what you thought of the tutorial. I have many Raglan style cardies and pullovers, which I will link at the end of this video. I also have a pullover that is the same stitch as this one. It just pulls over your head. It has long sleeves, but you could make short sleeves if you like. It has a different edging that you may want to try on this cardie. At this time, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Click like on this video and all videos that you watch, whether it be mine or someone else's. And share. I think a good place to share tutorials is on Pinterest. If you are on there, if you're not, that's okay. Please share to your social media. If you'd like to see more Raglan style cardies or pullovers, or maybe you can think of something else that I could make Raglan style, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.